Thanks for tuning in to TheLoneWolf.com, everyone. My name is Drew, and today we're going to be going over an item that you should never hit the trail without packing. That is the multi-tool. Now, before we get into the multi-tools in front of me, we wanted to um, kind of let you guys know about a new partnership we've got with CompetitiveCyclist.com and an exclusive discount code that they're offering our viewers and fans. So um, we're really excited about the opportunity. One of the things that we pride ourselves on is honest, um, upfront, and straight up reviews. And Competitive Cyclist, being a brand agnostic retailer, um, has totally supported our vision and uh, are thrilled to come on board and help supply us with a lot of products and uh, a discount code to you guys so that we can keep making a lot of cool videos and reviewing even more products. So um, now that we've got that out of the way, um, thanks again to you guys for tuning in and uh, let's get a look at the products. So we're gonna start here with a multi-tool that <clears throat> is probably not something you're gonna be packing out on the trails, but it's something that um, is probably gonna be a great frame of reference for size and weight and something that most at-home mechanics already have. And that's pretty much the standard Park Tools folding Allen wrench set. Um, it's got everything from you know, your small Allens uh, that you'd use for you know, a three millimeter adjustment up to a 10. Now, again, probably not something you're gonna to wanna to pack and take out with you guys on the trails, but frame of reference um, kind of just lets you know where everything's starting at size-wise and weight-wise. Next up, we've got the Blackburn Wayside Tool. Now, this is a really cool um, setup here. It's got a little rubber uh, keeper band so that nothing gets accidentally lost, bumped, or misplaced. Um, some really cool features in this tool and has an aluminum handle, Presta valve core tool, Torx keys in 25 and 30, has an eight millimeter hex bit, which is awesome, uh, disc pad spreader, uh, chain tool, Presta valve tool here is also included in that same bit. It's got a serrated blade, which is a great feature for the survivalists out there. Um, it's got a chain repair hook pin and um, basically all the essentials. What really makes this tool stand out in our opinion along with the Presta valve tool and serrated blade and eight mil are the almost full size Allen wrenches that you can find here from two millimeters up to five millimeters. The Blackburn Wayside is definitely one of our top recommendations in the group. It retails for $34.95 and weighs in at 195 grams. Next up is the legendary um, <laughs> Toe Peak Alien. I had one of these tools. It was like, you know, something that I kind of lusted after. I'm pretty sure I begged my parents until they bought me one for Christmas when I was like 14 years old. Um, this thing here, it's thick, it's heavy, comes with a little pouch, um, but it has got a ton of tools, comes apart so you can kind of access things as you need it. Uh, features box end wrenches for eight, nine, and 10 millimeters. Uh, Torx T25 hex wrenches from two two and a half, three, four, six, eight, and 10 millimeters, as well as a mini pedal wrench, chain tool and assembly hook, screwdrivers, Phillips and flathead screwdrivers, and a serrated blade. Uh, we also like the fact that it's got two integrated tire levers. So if you need to um, pull off or reinstall some tires and you need a little bit of help, that will make it easier for you. This tool weighs in at 312 grams, um, but certainly something that uh, is worth checking out if you are that trail MacGyver. Next up, we've got a toolkit that we've just recently reviewed on the website and really fell in love with actually, and that is the Silka T Ratchet and Tie Torque Kit. Retails for $98 or $50 without the torque wrench model. Um, this is a very modular tool which has a ton of benefits. Um, it allows you to, one, neatly store everything and customize the tool's usage based on your application or needs. Um, you know, you'll be able to either extend the handle and make it a much longer tool if needed. Um, you can use it this way so you can get some strong leverage if you've got to break anything loose. It comes with hex 2, 2.5, 3, 4, 5, and 6, as well as Torx T10, 20, 25, and a Phillips head number two attachment. Uh, there's also your stainless extender, the handle itself, which can, which can be adjusted, and the torque wrench. Um, we will knock a couple points off because it doesn't come with an eight millimeter. 
Next up, we've got a more traditional multi-tool. That is the Crank Brothers M17. As you can imagine, the 17 stands for 17 incorporated tools here. Um, also has a little rubber keeper band to keep things from bouncing and flapping around. This is a tool that we've actually had bouncing around in our bags for probably close to seven or eight years now. Retails for $29.99, weighs in at 179 grams, and is made of high tensile steel. Comes with a Torx T25 bit, hex keys in two, 2.5, three, four, five, six, and eight millimeters. It also has four spoke wrenches, screwdrivers, and open end wrenches for eight and 10 millimeter hardware. Um, there's a composite bracket and a chain tool that is eight through 12 speed compatible. Up next, we've got the really affordable Synchros Composite 14. Retailing at $24.95, this tool packs 14 bits in the glass reinforced nylon cage, and it includes, includes a valve core tool here in the chain tool, as well as spoke wrenches. Here you've got a removable attachment to um, convert this to six or eight millimeters. You've also got two, three, four, and five millimeters flat and Phillips head screwdriver bits, and a T25 bit. The Synchros Composite 14 weighs in at 175 grams, including the case. Up next, we've got the Fix-It Sticks Mountain Kit. Um, it comes in this handy little zip-up carrying pouch and has a lot of really neat features. Again, it's a modular kit, comes in this nice handy little carrying pouch and can really be customized to meet your applications. It's got a chain tool and many other tools that you can use in any number of ways. Whether you need to combine the bits to, again, get a little bit of extra leverage to break some stiff bolts free, um, if you want to use any of these other bits or use these tire levers, um, this is probably the best tire lever set out of the multi-kits. really is going to allow you to break that bead loose if you are a guy that's running a very stiff sidewall tire. It comes with Torx T25. Hex 2, 2.5, 3, 4, 5, and 6 millimeters. Um, again, the chain breaker, a Phillips screwdriver bit, and two replaceable fix-it sticks, and a composite bracket along with this black carrying case. They all weigh in at 255 grams and retail for $56. If you're looking for something a little more slim and stealthy, this Lazine V7 retails for just $19.99 and comes with seven tools. It has a Torx T25 and 30, hex keys 2.5, 4, 5, and 6 millimeters, and a flathead screwdriver bit. The V7 weighs in at 65 grams and is a pretty solid toolkit overall. We like the Torx bits. Um, we would love to see an eight millimeter Allen on here to kind of make this thing a little bit more of a recommendation for the mountain bike application. Another minimalist tool here is the Park IB1. It retails for $15.95, weighs in at 91 grams, and offers hex keys in three, four, five, six, and eight millimeters, a flathead screwdriver. And that is essentially all you're getting out of this tool. It is small, light, affordable. Um, we're gonna knock it because it does not have any Torx bits, and uh, that's definitely something that we find valuable and would see like to see instead of that flathead screwdriver. And last, but sort of the least, is the Abbey four-way multi-tool. Retailing for $40 and weighing in 48 grams, uh, we'd say this tool is probably better suited at home in the workshop than out on the trail. Certainly something you could pack with you. It is small and light, but the fixed shape would make it uh, a little bit scary depending on the type of pack you're carrying it in. It also has a lot of tools that are useful at home but don't quite give you enough um, to really save you if you need it out on the trails. So one of the nice features about this Abbey four-way tool is that you can customize or order it in a number of specifications. So whether you wanna go heavy on Torx or do more hex bits um, and just keep a T25, uh, you can order that accordingly to your application and the types of hardware you find most frequent. So now that we've gone over all the tools um, and kind of run you through some of the features and what they've got inside, uh, we'd like to address some things that uh, we think are worthwhile mentioning and bringing up for those in the market. Now there's a lot of different uh, options as you can see from you know, the, the bare minimalists like the Park Tool I-Beam 
to something that's going to have a lot more tools and capabilities. So um, in our opinion, essential tools that you need to have are an 8 mil um, for pedals. They don't come loose, but when they do, you're in trouble, right? So having an 8 mil to us is very important. Having a T25 Torx bit is also going to be very important, um, as a lot of times, you know, your brake cockpit adjustment is all going to be Torx, and if you crash, knock one of those loose, need to move it, um, anything like that, it's handy to have a Torx handy. Obviously, the 4, 5, and 6 millimeters are important. Um, also, the 8 millimeter, again, along with being useful for pedals, sometimes there's a lot of pivot hardware that will be a 6 or 8 millimeter, so having something handy there is definitely going to be useful. Next up, we get to the chain tool. Um, chain tools are you know, I guess depending on your experience, how much you ride in the backcountry may or not be necessary. If you pack uh, a spare link, you might be able to just repair a chain that you snap or have an issue with, but um, it's certainly not a bad thing to have around. And I know that most of our crew always has a chain tool handy. So um, we'd suggest carrying one if at all you're, you're more than just a few miles out of a parking lot or uh, assistance. So. Another really useful tool that um, only a couple of these have is the valve core removal tool. Um, if you need to top off with some sealant, if one comes loose during a ride, being able to snug up a valve core and seal any leaks or you know re refill some sealant is definitely a nice feature. Tire levers may or may not be an issue, uh, depending on the casing of sidewall that you run, um, how strong your hands are, anything of that nature. But something like the Fix It Sticks, right, which has a really big burly tire lever that you can set up, um, is certainly going to be a nice feature, especially if you're running like a heavy duty downhill or enduro casing tire. That's going to really let you get some muscle under there and uh, fix a tire and get back on the trail. An issue that we've run into several times and really appreciate about some of the tools like this Blackburn here are the length of the Allen wrenches. If you get into something like this Lazine here, um, which has got definitely shorter Allens, when, you, when it comes time to adjust your brake calipers, um, you can definitely run into some issues depending on the size of spacer and the size of the caliper um, body. There have definitely been times where we've been out knocked our rotor on a rock, um, bikes fallen over or something along that nature. It heats up on real long descents and you want to be able to adjust that caliper and recenter it so you're not rubbing, right? If you're out 15 miles back and you got a dent rotor or a, a bent rotor and you want to try to recenter it to get you back home, we've definitely had issues where on the back you just don't have a long enough Allen wrench to turn this bolt. And that can be a real problem um, because you just can't do what you need to do to get your, your bike repaired and back on the trail. So uh, that's something that these small tools are great because they're light. You can pack them in your, your bib. Um, they don't take up a lot of room. But if you really need to make repairs, um, having something that's a little bit longer is certainly worth considering. Obviously, these have their application and are great for a lot of people, but the fact that you can't always get to the bolts you need to get to can definitely be problematic. Um, and, and that's honestly one of the reasons why this Blackburn is a standout tool for us in our opinion. Uh, the same can be said for some tools like this where you've got a lot of attachments. Um, the more stuff that you've got attaching to a tool, the more likelihood you've got to lose stuff, misplace something, drop it, whatever. That being said, we absolutely love this Silka kit. Um, if you're an organized, tidy person and can use and put right back, definitely worth checking out. Um, and the, the abilities that you have here to customize and use this tool for your own applications, whether you, you don't need to torque something this way, or if you want to put something on the end to get a little bit longer reach into the tool, there's a lot of options that you can get to really maximize your leverage and um, make the tool work for you. So if we had to pick one tool to take with us everywhere, what would it be? Um, well, honestly, I'd say that this Blackburn is, is pretty high on the list. I think that's kind of going to be my, my go-to, the tool I pack with me most from now on. Um, again, 
a lot of these tools I've had and have carried for a number of years. Um, I, I think a lot of them are going to be getting retired as the Blackburn kind of becomes my go-to. I love the fact that they've got these detachable Allens so I can get into hard to reach bolts. Um, I've got the full length of an Allen set if I need to. I love the fact that it's got this uh, disc brake spreader. Luckily, um, I've fixed enough bikes to not grab brake levers, but there's always that one guy standing around while you're fixing a flat who grabs your brake lever while your bike's upside down or leaned against a tree. So having a disc brake spreader is great. Um, I love the fact that it's got the chain tool and the valve core, the Presta valve core tool to me is kind of what seals the deal for this thing. Um, I also love the fact that it's got the eight mil. Um, all these Torx bits is great because more and more components are coming with Torx bolts and it just seems like it's a great put together kit. It's tight. It's got this little rubber band keeper. Um, and for me, like I said, this, this is kind of going to be my new go-to pack. I like how slim it is and all the tools it's got. It, it's enough to be like a really robust, secure tool. It, it's got enough to be like a really all encompassing, you know, save your butt kind of a tool without being overkill like the Topeak Alien. Um, the Alien is a great survivalist, do-it-all multi-tool. If you kind of want something to do it all, you've got a lot of options in here. Um, I do like the fact that it's got this uh, little serrated blade and uh, flathead screwdriver, bottle opener, all those essentials. I just, I think for the, the weight and how often I've ever had to use a lot of these tools, um, I just don't know that it's worth it. If I was going to be going on some big backcountry trip, having the ability to, you know, use these box wrenches to open like brake bleeder uh, ports on the master cylinder and stuff is, is really neat, but probably not going to be in my everyday carry kit. I would, I would opt for this Blackburn or maybe this Synchros even, because uh, that's a pretty cool, slim, minimal kit as well. <clears throat> The fix-it sticks are also super neat. I love the fact that they're modular and you can kind of customize, do a lot of things with it. Um, again, the Silka is much the same. This is something that I've been carrying and will continue to carry regularly. A really neat kit and it has saved uh, many of test rides on our end. So um, those are the kits, guys. Hopefully that helps answer a little bit of questions as to what you do or don't need or um, you know what we suggest is worthwhile. No matter what you do though, make sure you have a multi-tool on you, at least something that's got your bare essentials. Um, that's gonna allow you to raise and lower your seat, tighten your stem, uh, handlebars, anything along those lines, should something come loose or you need to make an adjustment along the way, it could really save you from having a bad day. So uh, make sure you guys use the Lone Wolf 15 discount code at competitivecyclist.com. Uh, we'd like to thank them again for their support, getting us all these tools and uh, valuing our channel and our honesty enough to work with us and send us a whole bunch of gear. So stay tuned, guys. We're going to be doing more videos with CompetitiveCyclist.com every month and uh, offering you guys a better insight into a bunch of products that you can find on their store. So thanks for tuning in, and we hope to see you out on the trails.